Hey guys, it's the House from Gun Gamers, and I bet you weren't expecting another video so quickly, but I felt the need to make this one because in my mag test that I just did, I ended up testing a lot more than magazines. Uh, I ended up testing my patience, my sanity, and also this, the Odin Innovations M12 Sidewinder Speed Loader. I actually have to admit that I was a bit wrong about this product. Uh, this is a product that I forever thought was kind of gimmicky, I thought it was overpriced, I didn't think it was going to be something I would like, but then when I was shopping for my mag test video, I pretty quickly realized that I was going to need some kind of solution for loading these magazines quickly, because using the standard pistol mag shaped speed loader was not going to be a good solution for loading and unloading 24 magazines. I think I did it about 10 times over the course of the test. I was gonna hate my life. So, I shopped around, I looked around, and I settled on the Odin M12, which I had previously, as I said, dismissed as an overpriced gimmick. I didn't think it would be durable enough. I expected it to break halfway through the testing, frankly. But you know what? I was 100% wrong. This is actually one of the most convenient purchases I have made for Airsoft in a long time. I love this speed loader now. I think it's a phenomenal product. I think that it offers a lot of functionality and it offers a lot of durability that you don't get with a lot of other speed loading options. Let's start with the durability because this speed loader over the course of the last month has probably seen more use from me than it would see from most users in a year. I have probably loaded 300 full magazine cycles through this speed loader. Because as I said, I had to load and unload those mid caps for my test tons of times. And then I've also been using this in my personal gameplay. So between those two uses and between all of that type of testing, it's held up remarkably. I don't see any way in which this thing has broken or started having problems, and I'm impressed. It has done a lot over the course of the last month through some pretty heavy use that I can't say as I would have expected from any other speed loader. So the speed loader is durable. That is absolutely one of my biggest concerns with the product immediately alleviated. I have no doubt that this is going to be a long service life item for me. Especially because, as I said, I put it through so much use in such a short period of time. And in Airsoft, that's usually where you see stuff break. And this just did it. But a speed loader needs to be more than durable. It also needs to be speedy and convenient. That's the entire reason you buy a speed loader. Especially a speed loader that's $40. So why should you buy this speed loader? over another speed loader. The only way I can think of to show why you would buy this speed loader over another speed loader is with a quick demonstration. For no particular reason, KWAK120. Flip that up, that is the storage position of the rotary handle, and I just flipped the crank or handle, whatever you want to call it, up into its usable position. Magazine locks in. And that is a fully loaded magazine. Right there. That's 120 rounds immediately into that magazine. I didn't need to fiddle with a plunger. I didn't need to turn the stupid thing upside down and shake it to get them all to fall into a column. All I had to do was insert the magazine, crank, remove. It is stupid easy and it is really fast. I can't say as my hands would have survived the magazine test had I not had such an easy and convenient speed loading option. I like this way better than the Elite Force speed loader that a friend of mine owns that I've played with before. There's a reason I never bought one of those. Compared to this, this is just way more convenient on every level. It's faster to load, it's easier to load, and it's smaller and more compact and easier to carry. As I just said, the Odin Innovations M12 Sidewinder speed loader is really easy to carry. This profile actually fits in a double M4 magazine pouch. For example, if I take two M4 mags here, you can see it's just a little bit taller, but the thickness is the same. So if you want to fit this into a pouch, it will fit in just about any double M4 magazine pouch. It is very easy to carry, and for its size, it also carries 1,600 rounds 
in its internal reservoir. That's a lot of ammo to have on tap immediately ready for that quick of speed loading. It is stupid convenient, and I really am kicking myself for having not bought one of these earlier. I'm a big advocate for having everything you need on the field with you. I don't like leaving stuff at respawn if I can avoid it, and I like having anything I might need, say, I go to a FOB rather than the main respawn, even at an AMS game, and you're only allowed to reload in the field at AMS games at particular points, but having this on me so I can reload my mags at those designated points rather than have to go back to the main respawn to resupply if I can get to a fob or if I can get to one of those kind of setups, I'm ready to go. The unfortunate thing about this is that right now it is only for M4. There are adapters available that will let you put other types of magazines in here, but most of those were made by Bingo Airsoft Designs, who unfortunately just recently announced that he was getting out of the airsoft business. There are other retailers who may be picking up his product line or taking on the torch for product continuity and support, but I'm not certain on the future of his Odin Innovations adapters. Hopefully a good retailer will take those over and you'll be able to get the AK and MP5 adapters again because that would be really nice. I, I want an AK adapter for this thing now. I did not purchase one before this and then come to find out last week I can't order one from Bingo's website anymore. So that's, uh, that's rough. Overall though, are there any improvements I would like to see to this product? I don't know how feasible this is, but I would kind of like the ability to rotate the crank into the storage position without having to lose BBs. As it stands right now, if you want to flip this little crank into the storage position, you have to flip it so that it is just opposite of that slot and then flip it down. And that puts it into the slick storage position. But as you can see there, you're cranking out BBs as you do that. Is that a huge deal? No, Airsoft Ammo is cheap enough and you can catch it in your hand, but it's just a minor little thing where if I had my say and if it were feasible for the design, I'm not on the design team, so I don't know. I would kind of like some kind of button press or latch release that would let you rotate the crank freely, but that might just be extra complication that adds cost or increases the chances of stuff breaking, so consider this a very much nitpick. At the end of the day, would I recommend the Odin Innovations M12 Sidewinder Speed Loader? If you have an M4 and you are using any other speed loader, in my opinion, you are actively missing out on one of the most convenient advancements in airsoft speed loading ever. This really helps me out a ton. It helped me out immensely over the past month with that mid-cap test. I appreciate the design, I appreciate the convenience, and I appreciate the quality that this comes with. I'm very happy that I bought it. I was definitely wrong about assuming it would be a cheap, not durable plastic gimmick. It really is pretty awesome. Uh, when they came out and they were 60 bucks, I was definitely more on the fence about them. But now that I bought one for 40 bucks and that's the MSRP is 40 bucks, it's absolutely worth it. I think you'll have it for a long time and I think you'll use it enough that the cost will be justified. Anyways, that's just a quick little review, or maybe not so quick, depending on how long it is after I edit it, of the Odin Innovations M12 Sidewinder Speed Loader. It really is pretty awesome, and I appreciate it immensely. Anyways, thanks for watching. I've been Ehouse from Gun Gamers, and I'm signing off. Peace.